All right guys, what's good? It's your boy Adrenaline. And today we have here our first display box of Magnificent Mavens. So we're gonna be opening this today. Um, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mini boxes inside this display box. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what we can get today. I mean, my ultimate goal for today, I'm not gonna lie, is probably like a red eyes or maybe like a triple tactics talent or I don't know, gold sarcophagus or something. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. Okay, and now the fun begins. So you do get one, two, three, four, five, six mini boxes inside of Magnificent Mavens, which is better than five in my opinion. So let's begin with the first. Now, not forgetting, inside of these Magnificent Mavens, you actually do get some uh, sleeves as well, which is pretty nice. Okay, so have these nice sleeves, which I'm actually starting to collect these now. Um, so yeah, and then inside, I do believe, I think it's like four or five packs, kind of like, um, goes from the past, you don't get a lot, but again, these are mini boxes, so it is what it is, um, but yeah, you get four packs per box, so all together we're going to have four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four packs, so Essentially, all I'm basically going to do is do the same as I did before, get all the packs out, and uh, just continue from there. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so, I'm just going to show you guys exactly what sleeves we got uh, while opening the mini boxes. So we got two of these. Then we have two of these. And then we also have, I don't know why I'm putting them on top, two separate ones, which are these. All right, let's go. Pack number one. Now, I will mention, uh, there are, is it five packs per card? Yeah, so we get five, uh, five cards per pack. So just thought I'd mention that. Okay, infinite imper uh, impermanence, infinite impermanence, nice, that's actually not too bad of a card, it's not a uh, fair as rare though, so we have a rich crafter confusion confession, wait, confession? Yeah, confession, okay, just making sure I'd actually read that right, we have a dark calling, we have a sword soul of, I think that's Taya, Taya, something like that, Taya. And we have a Sky Striker Mecha, Mecha Shark Cannon. So I do believe, uh, watching Rooks in 34, he's obviously my go-to when it comes to pack openings for like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. I do believe whatever chase cards there are, it's the third one in. <laughs> Okay, I'm not actually sure if that's a uh, a Pharaoh's rare, but if it's just a regular ultra rare lightning storm, then I'll take it. Let's have a look here. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll take it nonetheless. This is just a regular ultra rare, but we have a lightning storm. I'll actually put that in this pile here. We have a Sky Striker Ace Zeki or Zeke. We have a Soul Soul Blackout. We have a Sky Striker Ace uh, Shizuku. And we also have a Sword Soul um, Strategist Longyuan? Longyuan? Something like that. Oh, these, these, uh, these packs are opening pretty weird. But. One thing is, oh, we have a token. Is this a token? This is uh, my first token I've actually ever had. Damn. 
So you'll have a, stri uh, a Sky Striker Ace token. Yeah, thought as much. But that looks so clean. Kind of looks like a ghost row. Anyway, first token I've ever got in Yu-Gi-Oh. Pretty cool. We have a Medora the Sword Oracle. We have a Cat Shark. We have a G Golem token, okay. And we also have a Dragon Maid changeover. Nice. Now this little pile up here, obviously, that'll be for like cards that I kind of like really like. Um, I do play Master Duel, so just bear that in mind. So, um, oh, we have a, an Obelisk card here. So we have Blast Held by Destiny. I'll actually put that up there just because it's obelisk. We have a totally awesome. We have a doom dozer. We have a. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, but I'm going to try. Uh, Rilion, wait, Rilayana, the Magidus of Vary. Not too sure. And we have a Draco back the rideable dragon. It's pretty sick actually. Okay, next pack. So we have a Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon. We have a Sword Soul Grandmaster. Chizayo, Chizayo, something up like that. We have a Sky Striker Mecha Window Anchor. We have a Shadow Impersonating Mirror. And we have a Therion Duke Yule. Pretty nice. Oh, Change of Hearts, nice. Again, this is just your normal ultra rare, um, but pretty nice nonetheless. Wow, change of heart. Not hearts. We have another Draco, well, Dragon Necro near the Soul Dragon. We have a Gozen match. We have a Hajun the Winged Miyakashi. And another Therion Duke Yule. Packs are so weird. I don't, I'm not sure whether the production level of the packs are a bit more <laughs> weird. Okay, so we have a Sword Soul of me uh, of Mo Ye. We have a Cyber Rev System. We have a Sky Striker Ace Jizuku. A Sky Striker Ace Hiati. And we have a Vampire's Curse. Yeah, only these packs seem to uh, look like this. It's pretty weird, I can't lie. So, so we have Ale Run, however you pronounce that. We have a Skill Drain, nice, a card I'd personally like to use. Exchange of the Spirit. We have a Sky Striker Ace uh, Ray, not sure how to pronounce that, but that's one of the. Um, what do you call this, isn't it? I believe it is at least. Anyway, it's the ah, oh, it's one of the cards that are on the god the sleeves. That was it. Don't know why it took me so long, but it's pretty nice nonetheless. We have a hero lives as well. Pretty nice. Really, it all just actually open so weird, man. Okay, so we have a Soul Soul Emergence. Hey, nice. We have a Guido the Ancient Sentinel. We have a Soul Soul Sinister Sovereign Rain. Uh, Quage Long Yoon. I'm not. I'm not. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But that that looks pretty sick, nonetheless. We have a Elden. Elder Entity enters, and we have a Sky Striker Mecha 
modules malt try roll try roll okay so we're almost finished with the first half here uh, there's 12 packs in each pile okay so we have a mudor the sword oracle again we have a the iris sword soul we have a sword soul strife we have a Therian Bull Ain. And we have a. Oh, I've actually seen this in game. We have a Nightmare Cerberus. Okay, two more packs for this pile. Don't know whether it's just because it's like five packs in a pack. Oh, okay, nice. We have a Black Bluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. This is just your Ultra Rare, just have a look. We have a Midora the Sword Oracle. We have a Hajun the Winged Mayakashi. Or whatever how you pronounce that. We have a non fusion area. And a Buburu Agnista. Ooh, yet a Grasu, nice. Again, just your normal ultra rare, but still pretty sweet nonetheless. We have a Kelbeck the Ancient Vanguard. We have a Beautiful Princess. We have a non fusion area. And we have Sword Soul Sacred Summit. So we have a Kelbig the Ancient Vanguard. We have another Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, normal ultra rare. We have a Nightmare Phoenix. Nice card. We have a Sword Soul Blackout and we have a Witchcrafter Jenny. Okay, so we have a uh, <coughs> we have a Sky Striker Ace Zeki. How do you pronounce that? We have a oh hold on, there's a lot of writing on this one. Ghost meets girl. Even can you use there a masterful Mirakashi's Shiraru Sega or something like that. That's a lot of a uh, that's a mouthful indeed. We have a Witchcrafter creation. And to finish the pack off, we have a Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Oh, wait, no, there's one more, sorry. We have a Oni Bimaru Soul. Uh, Oni. Oni Bimaru Soul Sweeper. Okay, so we have a Surgical Striker Hamp. We have a... Ev oh, nice! Evenly matched. Cool. I believe that's somewhat of a chase card. We have a Gash... Uh, Gash uh, Dukuro the Skeletal Mayakashi. We have a... Oh, nice! We have a Sky Striker Ace... Um, Kagari, Kagari, Kagar, Kagari. I don't know, Kagari. And we have another Nightmare Cerberus. It's packed far light as hell, though. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'll take this. We have just a regular triple tactics. A regular Triple Tactics Talent. Normal Ultra Rare. Actually, let's go put that in this one here. 
We have a Sky Striker Ace Zeki. We have a Doom Dozer. Sky Striker Ace Hiati. And a Witchcrafter Creation. Okay, so we have a Barrel Sword Dragon. We have a Trap Tricks Zero. We have a Sword Soul Assessment. Another token, so Dark Soul token. And we have a Metal Reflect Slime. Ah, nice. Pretty cool. Oh, god damn. I think the heating's actually on today. Okay, so we have Exchange of Despair and Hope. We have a Pendulum Call. We have a Nightmare Phoenix. We have a Foolish Return. And we have another Draco Buck, the Rideable Dragon. Don't mind my PC. Um, I just have it on just for more lighting, uh, obviously from the uh, monitor. It's probably too much lighting to be honest, but hey ho. Hey nice, we have another skill drain, which I don't mind having. We have a Trap Tricks um, Sira. Uh, oh, oh my god, yes, let's go. We have got a Pharaoh's Rare. Very nice indeed. We got a nice Necro Valley. Let's go. I didn't actually think I was going to notice it, but I knew this is one of the uh, Pharaoh's Rare. So this is Ultra Pharaoh's Rare Necro Valley. Sheesh, that is hella nice. Hella nice. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sleeve this bad boy in a second. Put that on top of this pack here. We have a Sky Strike, uh, a Sky Striker Ace Ray, 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 and we have a Light Impersoning Mirror. Okay, there it is, Necro Valley Ultra Ferris Rare, and apparently this is currently going for around. $207 pretty much which that is our pull for the day um, easily but we still have a few packs left so let's keep going oh nice okay we have a black Luster soldier envoy of the beginning again just a regular ultra rare oh, I'll definitely be going in this pile we have a caldo the secret protector we have a Buru Boo, oh wait, Buru Ru, Agnista. I must have read it wrong earlier then. Sword Soul Assessment. And we have a Sky Striker Mecha Modules um, Multi Roll, I believe. I'm actually kind of freaking out how I've actually kind of pulled a Necro Valley, to be honest. It's not one of the cards that I wanted, but I'll take it. Right. I'm not saying I'm going to get rid of it, that's for sure. Um, but nonetheless, we pulled a fair as rare. Okay, so we have a Surgical Strike Hamp. We have a Caldo, the Secret Protector. Ooh, okay, we have a Scapegoat. Um, it's not a, uh, you know, anything too nice. But I like Scapegoat. I actually sent off a Scapegoat... Um, collector's Rare from, where was it, was it Tactical Masters? I think it was Tactical Masters, I sent that off to PSA to be graded, so that's one card that I'm just going to just keep in general to be honest. It would be nice to have it as like a uh, um, playable card, but it's one of my favourite cards of all time, so yeah. But yeah, we have a scapegoat, uh, I'll be putting that over there. We have a Miyakashi Return. And we have another G Golem token.
Okay, so we have a pendulum call. We have a Geldo, Keldo, the secret protector. We have exchange of the spirits. We have a sword soul. All spies are not hard to, not, yeah, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. All spies. Chunjun, 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 or something. And we have a Therian Boreen. Okay. Two packs left. I would say, you know, let's go for that uh, last kind of pack magic, but today, I don't think we need it. So we have an Ice Dragon's Prison. We have a Yuki on a, the Icicle Mayakashi. We have a Sky Striker Mecha Window Archer. Wait, Anchor, sorry, not, not Archer. We have a Predator Plants and Ball Ohm. How do you pronounce this? A Predator Plant Ambulo Mel. Melidis, Melidis, I'm not too sure, pretty nice card, nonetheless, and we have another exchange of the spirit. Okay, so we have a Pendulum Call, we have a Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, that is pretty neat, I can't lie. We have a Mizuki. We have a Sky Striker Mobilize Exchange. And we have a. Oh, Instant Fusion. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Nice. Alright, so we're just going to go over a few of the cards that we got today, which I haven't pulled in recent videos slash other sets, but we have got them in this. Um, set today, which is pretty nice. So we've got a triple tactics talent Now these are non actual valuable in this particular set, but they are valuable um, Somewhere else. I'm not too sure about evenly matched actually. So just gonna have a quick look here. Oh Wow infinite impermanence is actually worth like 13 pounds not $13 Triple tactics is worth 15. Okay lightning storm 850 Sheesh, uh, evenly matched, it's like £5. Blackless of Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, 310. Um, it would have been nice to pull an Avaloza, but. Um, no, it's Secret Fairy Rare. I think from there it's all Secret Fairy Rares. But we've actually pulled a few, actually. I didn't actually realise. Okay. So that means I will be sleeving these bad boys up um, eventually. I'll be doing that after the video. But. Um, yeah, let's just continue and tell you exactly what I got today. So anyway, we've got Triple Tactics Talent down there. We have a Evenly Matched. We have a Instant Fusion, which was a nice one. We have a nice Scapegoat. A Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning, just a, a normal Ultra Rare. We have a Skill Drain. OG card. Nightmare Phoenix. Something I actually wouldn't normally use, but... Again, I'm trying to start building decks, and these will be like cards that I can use with a Metal Reflex Sign. Um, I only took this one out mainly just because obviously it has to do with Wind Dragon of Raw, um, and um, obviously all those slime cards, so yeah. Then we have a Sky Striker Ace Kagari, however you pronounce it. We have another Phoenix. We have another um, Black Lesser Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Yatagarasu, now this, in my opinion, honestly, I'm going to keep a hold of this. It might be nothing now, but Yatagarasu is a a well-known collector card. So, yeah, this will definitely be sleeved up. Another um, Soldier of Chaos. Another Skill Drain. Like I said, OG card. Uh, Blast Held by Destiny. Obviously, to do with obelisk and we have another card which again like i says this is one card that i actually really wanted to get in a, uh, a secret or ultra uh what they called ultra pharaohs rare 
um, but we didn't pull that. But either way, we've got a lightning storm. And then of course, today, we got our Ultra Ferrous Rare Necro Valley, which is pretty mental if you ask me. One thing I will be doing is checking on like the centering and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take it out of the sleeve because again, this might be another card I can send off to be graded, so. Minty fresh, straight out of the pack. Centering looks really nice, but I think it's more onto the right than it is the left. It might just be the, the darkness around this particular angle, like 90 degree angle, could be wrong. Um, looks pretty nice, let's have a look at the back here. And i got to say, okay, there's a few, I'm not sure whether they are, I, re I reckon that's pretty minty to be honest, who knows. But yeah, this is one card I'll be sending off to be PSA graded, so again, we'll be keeping this one, but to be honest, I, I had no clue I was actually going to pull this, I'm not going to lie, I thought... If I was going to pull one, it would be a quite cheap one. Um, like I said, I was hoping for something definitely like a, a lightning storm or something definitely like that. Is that a print line or is that just on the sleeve? I'm not too sure. But either way, this is an ultra Pharaoh's rare Necro Valley from Magnificent Mavens. Nice. But anyway, enough about that. Um, I'm going to end it on a high note. And uh, yeah. I don't know what set I'm going to be opening next. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be another Magnificent Mavens. I'm not saying it's going to be like another um, Ghost from the Past. But who knows. I think the next thing that I'm probably going to be opening is the 25th Anniversary uh, Collection. Which comes out on the 20th this month I believe. Um, my shop will probably get it uh, on the date. If not they might have like a, a pre-order date for it. Or like a pre-release or pre-sale release day for it so it might be something around like I don't know the the 15th to the 17th or something depending on obviously what days they are but they normally have like a, a three day pre-sale or something so I might get like two boxes of that and then see what we can pull because uh, we've got some more reprints coming so we're talking like uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, Metal Raiders, um, I think Spell Rulers in there and I think it's like two other packs but yeah We'll be trying to get a hand on those, of course. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in again, and I shall see you in the next one. Alright, peace.